There's $5,000 worth of college football mystery boxes behind me supplied by Pristine Auction, and today it's gonna build my NCAA football team. For example, it looks like the first thing that I'm pulling out is a jersey, and it's signed by Blake Corum, Michigan's starting running back, so we get to add him to our team, and then spin this wheel to add one more player from the Wolverines current roster. It landed on left outside linebacker, and Derek Moore is faster, and at an 82 overall, he's gonna help our defense, which is important because once I'm done building this team, I'll be putting it into a 12-team playoff, and every time I give up a touch, down, I have to spin this wheel which decides one signed item I'll be giving away to one of you and if we can't win a national championship I have to give away every single item from this video. I'm ready to build an insane team and these thinner boxes contain some sick frames like the signed NCAA football 14 cover behind me I got from the last one so I've impatiently already pulled one of them out and it looks like this is RG3 from his Baylor days. It's also signed by him and he even wrote Heisman on here for when he won the trophy and he was one of my favorite college players to watch as a kid so having this massive signed picture from him is awesome. He's also going to make for an amazing quarterback at a 99 overall, but I can't forget to add one more player from Baylor's current team, and that's actually great. Even though the Bears' left tackle is only a 79 overall, I have a feeling offensive linemen are going to be hard to come by in this video, but before we fully dive into building this team, Pristine Auction has made this entire video possible along with my entire backdrop, and they specialize in autograph memorabilia, sports cards, coins, and much more. By working with the leading authentication companies, they ensure that 100% of their items are authentic, plus since they they have over a thousand auctions ending daily, it's very important that they're certified by the most trusted names. Some of their auction formats include multiple weekly auctions and a premium elite auction, but my personal favorites are the daily and the 10 minute auctions, and I'm also excited to see who our next player is. But did you know that Pristine Auction has an iOS app available for download and a marketplace so you don't miss out on the action? Probably not, but this helmet looks like it's a Michigan one, and it is none other than quarterback JJ McCarthy's, as you can see the signature when I put it close up to the camera. Anyway, Pristine Auction has supplied me with a $10 off registration code for all of you, so when you sign up with code BOARD, you'll get $10 off of your first order. And I love doing these videos where I can give back to you all, so make sure you use code BOARD. With the addition of JJ McCarthy, we already have two QBs, so I'm really hoping that this wheel spin does not land on it again because that would be brutal. A Michigan right tackle is a much better fit though, because Miles Hinton is an 85 overall, and again, those are the positions that we're probably going to need. I'd say that it's all gone pretty well so far, and I am going to pull out another mini helmet, but after this one, I'm going to pull out a full-sized helmet. And the last time I did a video like this, I had to give away a signed football from this player. So you can try to guess who it is based on the signature. But if you couldn't get it, it was Odell Beckham Jr. So this is sick. And the offense of the team we've built so far is insane. But we have to keep adding talent to it because I don't want to end up giving away all of these items at the end of the video. And LSU's middle linebacker might be really good. I know they have a super high overall one and they don't have him at this position. I was thinking of left outside linebacker Harold Perkins Jr. But instead we get 83 overall Greg Penn the third. And of course I'll still take it as he helps fill out our defense, but I thought this OBJ helmet was about to get us somebody even better. The team's looking pretty good so far, but I'm ready to see what helmet this is, and I'll give you a chance to take a quick guess as it's a Texas one, and after I realized who it is, I'm gonna be so salty if this is something I give away. It is signed by Vince Young when they won the national championship, and if you've never seen how that iconic game ended, Vince Young made the play that won his team the championship in the final seconds. I thought the RG3 poster was gonna be my favorite thing, but this is already topping it, and what's crazy is we have so much more to go in those two boxes and this one. We also have two of the best possible options at quarterback ever, and I better have a lot of success with this team. The wheel is going to give us a defensive tackle, and for Texas's current roster, that means we're getting a 90 overall, so this is the best player the wheel has gifted us yet, and Byron Murphy the second really helps this defense. In this box, Pristine Auction had a card for me, and just like the last video, Andrew from there left me a really nice note, while also reminding me to tell you all to use code board, but I want to see what's in this now, and I swear, every time I do stuff like this, it's like experiencing Chris again. From that envelope, I have pulled out multiple different things, and the first item is actually going to give us our first defensive player from one of these signed things, and yes, that's a piece of Joey Porter Jr.'s jersey on this card. This is a super neat little item, and I've never seen anything like it, but we've been blessed with a stud at cornerback on this team, and I was a bit worried about our defense since I have to give away an item for every touchdown we give up, but the wheel landed on quarterback, so we're not adding more to it, and Penn State's Drew Aller does not help this team. There's zero chance he ever plays a down for us, so it's a good thing that this other item features a player that will. And it's another sports card with this one being signed by Clemson's T. Higgins. What's so cool about this is there's only 25 of these in circulation, and having somebody like him that I can throw jump balls up to makes this team even more fun. I'm hoping with this wheel spin we're able to add another Clemson player to the team that's going to help us, and the fact that we've already gotten three offensive linemen is a massive deal. Marcus Tate is the best one of the three as well, and Vince Young or RG3 is starting to get some great protection. I think it's about time that we pull out another poster from one of these though, and I would have never imagined getting 
getting this item in the college football mystery box. We are going to have the 5'6 Rudy Rudiger on our team. And if you've never seen the movie Rudy before, I would highly recommend checking it out. At 5'6, he might not be the best corner in the world, but he's an icon. And this is the nicest frame that I've gotten from them yet, so I don't even want to unpack it all just in case I have to give it away to one of you. I cannot believe that they found this and put it in the box. But he even wrote never quit on there, and that was just a sick item. We're also getting another left outside linebacker. And since they're the same overall, I'm going to choose from these two and get Jalen Sneed. But we're going to move him to the other side of the field since we already have somebody there. There's still six missing positions on our defense, but it's starting to come together. And the footballs were so neat in the last video, so I'm glad that I have found another. I never imagined that I'd be holding a football that was signed by Adrian Peterson from his time at Oklahoma, but he also wrote all day on there. And I hope I don't have to give this away either because I want it to be a part of my backdrop as well. As for our skill positions on offense, they just keep getting better. And I know for a fact that I'm not going to have any issues with scoring touchdowns. We keep getting left outside linebackers though, and Oklahoma doesn't have any. So this wheel spin doesn't help our team at all. It's a shame that not one of these five right outside linebackers are listed on the other side of the field, but we just got to keep on moving. And this item has its own special little box. I don't know what I'm looking at right now, but I've never seen anything like this. It is a Caleb Williams Heisman Trophy toy for Tommy the Trojan. And this is a super neat little thing, especially since it's from when he won his Heisman Trophy. It's kind of crazy our quarterbacks are so good that he's our third stringer. And how did Pristine Auction find something like this? All I know is that we need the wheel to bless us with more defensive players, and I will take that. USC's best left end is Solomon Bird, and at an 86 overall, he will definitely do the trick. So our defensive line is starting to look really nice, and it's been a while since I've pulled out a helmet, so we're gonna see what this one is. There's one more big one in there that we're gonna get to soon, but first it's this mini one, and it was signed this year by none other than Deion Sanders. In the last video, I got a Florida State one from him that I had to give away, so I am hoping that by the end of this video, I do get to keep this one. And not only did we just get a 99 overall cornerback on our team, but we also got somebody that's gonna make for an amazing returner, and he'll also be our head coach for this team over on the sidelines at the same time. I did just realize that we don't have any kicker or punter though, so for this wheel spin, I'm hoping that that's what we land on, but instead it's gonna be a right end. For the current Colorado roster, that means we're gonna get Kari Mans, and I didn't think that we were actually gonna fill up this defensive line. Again, like I said, there is another big helmet in here, but I noticed another small one first, and it's from Oklahoma. I really love watching this player in college, and I wanted my favorite NFL team, the Colts, to draft him. So if you've known that we've needed wide receivers forever, you know that this is C.D. Lamb. And the more I do these pristine auction videos, I'm just getting overrun with Oklahoma helmets. This one is Kyler Murray, but I can't complain because now we have three amazing wide receivers, and I'm so excited to play for this team, but we still have a lot more that we need to build with it. Free safety is actually a need of ours, so that's a big deal. And since the last Oklahoma defensive player didn't have anybody there, I'm hoping they do here, and we have Key Lawrence. He's an 85 overall with 87 speed, and now all we need to finish this starting defense is a strong safety. I've been hyping it up for a minute though, so it's time to see who this big helmet is. And it is a red color, but the second I pull it up, you'll notice that it is an Alabama one. I'll let you all take a quick guess at who you think this is. And his jersey's actually right behind me in this frame, as it is to a tag of Iloas. I keep getting so many sick items from Pristine Auction, but since he's only a 97 overall, he won't even get to play for this team. That's a shame, but this wheel spin could still give us somebody really good from Alabama. And we need more offensive linemen, so I'm loving JC Latham, because this guy's a 97 overall, and even if I move him over to right guard where we're gonna need him, he's still a 97. He's by far the best player that that wheel spin has given us so far, and there's a few more posters left in these boxes, so I think it's time that we get another one. Boys, as I'm looking at this next one, I cannot believe who it is. And it's so massive that I've been struggling to unwrap it, but that shows that they ship things very well protected, and this is beautiful. There's obviously gonna be a bit of a reflection of my screen, but you can also see Saquon Barkley has signed it, and for my Penn State fans, I know you all are rooting for me to give this one away. Just when I thought our running back room couldn't get any more loaded, it did. And we don't need much more on offense besides a tight end and a center, but we're getting a right end instead. We were very close to getting Chop Robinson, but he plays on the other side of the ball. So instead we get 86 overall Adisa Isaac, and that's an upgrade that I'll gladly take to our defensive line. There is one more jersey left in the box, and we're going to actually reveal it right now. And if you could get a glimpse of the name on that last clip, you would know that this is a signed Justin Jefferson one. And the last time I did a pristine auction video, they gave me his Vikings jersey, which actually got given away, but now I have his college one, and our receiving core just continues to get better. This spin's gonna give us a cornerback. So from LSU, that means we should probably go with Zai Alexander, but I need to move him to strong safety, so we have a starter there, and he's an 88. I'm hoping that this starting defense can prevent teams from scoring touchdowns, because like I said earlier on, every time we give one up, I have to give away one item from this video, and trust me, I do not want to have to spin this wheel often. Anyway, for this next item, it is a shiny metallic helmet, and of all the 
mini helmets I've seen in this video. In my opinion, this is by far the coolest one. It's from Alabama's championship season and it has their entire schedule on the back, but it also has this sick metallic look to it and it is signed by none other than Jerry Judy. As I look into my reflection on this helmet, I've decided I really want to keep it. So hopefully adding Jerry Judy to this receiving core makes that a reality. And the last time we spun this wheel to get a player from Alabama, we got somebody really good. So I was hoping for the same with middle linebacker and I think I found my user. Jihad Campbell is the third highest overall here, but he has 88 speed. So I'd like to think that picking him was the right move. And there's only five items remaining for me to open with this next one being another football. For all the success they've had recently, I have to appreciate a Georgia national championship one. And I can say it's that because it was specifically signed on here. Anyway, if you can't tell who this signature is, it's from former running back James Cook. And unfortunately at a 92 overall, he doesn't make the cut for this team. But if the three guys ahead of him get hurt, he will be in the game. And this wheel could give us so many good players from Georgia's current team as it takes us to quarterback. Well, we definitely don't need Carson back. So that's unfortunate, but I'm going to return to this envelope and I have never seen anything like this next item. It's from Clemson's national championship win in 2019. And if I get it super close, it's a signed ticket that is signed by Travis Etienne. I think it's super cool because he wrote three touchdowns and the score. And this is simply a very cool collector's item that I haven't seen anything like before. At a 97 overall, he also doesn't make our top three running backs, but we get to spin the wheel and let's hope that this player from Clemson is someone that we could actually use like a free safety. 86 overall, Jalen Phillips is exactly that. And even though he's one overall faster than the guy we have starting, he's two speeds slower than him. So I'm going to make him our backup who can also play corner. Of the three remaining items, two of them are posters. But before we get to them, we have one more card and it's not from his time at Auburn, but when he was a rookie in Carolina. So you'll see that this is a Cam Newton card that contains a piece of equipment that he used. He was a beast in college and also for a majority of his NFL career. So this is a good little collector's piece. And we also have the option of making Cam Newton our starter. To be honest, I think I'm going to go with RG3, but I still haven't been able to decide yet. And the wheel continues to give us players that we can't use. With only two picks left, we still haven't filled our center or tight end position. And there also isn't a kicker or a punter on this team. And I have to hope for the best out of these final two pictures. The first one is super neat, especially for Florida fans. And I already have his jersey behind me as well. And even though I root for Kentucky, Anthony Richardson is the Colts quarterback, so I can respect this. If I get it a bit closer, you'll see it's signed by him. And this is neat, but you know what I'm about to say. We've gotten like 10 quarterbacks, so this doesn't help our offense. And I need this wheel to bless us. Please give us something we need. And it's a halfback. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm looking for the one with the best blocking stats. And Cam Carroll might be playing center for us, even though he is only a 62 overall. It's not perfect, but we do have a full starting offensive line. And we really need this last picture item to bail us out, which to be honest, it really isn't that much, but we did just get the best receiver on this roster yet. And this is signed by Jamison Williams with his speed written on there. This is from when he hit over 23 miles per hour in game. And with his 99 speed, it's going to be so easy to bomb defenses. More importantly, though, we get one more wheel spin to add another player from an Alabama team. And it's a right outside linebacker. So we're not going to get a tight end, but Dallas Turner will definitely help our defense. And he's a 93 overall right outside linebacker, but I want to generate some more pressure. So I'm making him a right end and he could single-handedly prevent teams from scoring touchdowns. To be honest, this side of the ball turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And technically the only position that we weren't able to fill is tight end, but that's not going to stop us from having a 99 overall offense. I ended up putting this team in NCAA football with all of the players that we have gotten today. And yes, as much as I did want to start RG3, I think Cam Newton's going to be even better, but he also has to play kicker for us with these atrocious stats. And we're going to see how that goes. As for the tight end position, I actually can put T Higgins here, who is an 83. And instead of starting Adrian Peterson, I am going to start Saquon Barkley, but both of them are going to touch the ball a ton. So if you want one final look at the team we built, here's the offense. And then here's the defense with Rudy being our worst player at a 69 overall. I'm simply just going to sim to the playoffs. So hopefully we make it. And considering Cam Newton won the Heisman, we probably did. It turns out we were good enough to go undefeated, though there are some close finishes on the schedule, but that's not going to get us the number one spot as Texas has it instead. Obviously to win the Heisman trophy, Cam Newton had to go off. And I told you that Saquon and Adrian Peterson were going to split carries, but receiving wise, we simply focused on feeding Jamison Williams. Because we did so well, we've actually earned a first round buy. And that is very good news for me because every time I give up a touchdown, I have to give away one of those items back there. This wheel will decide which signed item from the video I give away. And if I can't win a national championship, I have to give away everything, but Notre Dame's going to beat Oklahoma State. So they're going to be our quarterfinal matchup. And you never know what could happen on Heisman difficulty. Just to be nice to you all as well, I'm going to bump it up to six minute quarters. And our defense is actually ranked 79th in the country. I might be giving up a lot of touchdowns today, but hopefully not because there are some sick 
items I don't want to give away. And I promise I love you all, but that Adrian Peterson signed football is one of the ones that my eyes on. We'll see if that ends up being one of the items that I have to give away. And they're going to pick up this third and six because our defense stinks. So I'm just hoping we can eventually get them off the field. And why did they run the ball? I'll definitely take it, but there's still a ton of time left and I'm excited to use Cam Newton. He is going to be amazing. But our best wide receiver, Jamison Williams, who won the Bolitnikoff, dropped this ball. I've decided we would have much more success just pounding the rock because we have a 6'5 quarterback that can move and we're going to get this one to OBJ who's going to break one tackle to get the first down. The only issue I'm running into offensively is sometimes I don't have enough time to get a throw out but we are going to get this one to Justin Jefferson and if Notre Dame is going to try to blitz us they're going to be in a lot of trouble because we have too many good receivers out here and T Higgins at tight end is going to take this one to the two yard line. It seems like the first player I'm going to score a touchdown with should be Saquon Barkley but Jamison Williams had the worst block ever and let's just let Heisman win our Cam Newton take care of business by running it in. As for the extra points, I'm not sure if he's going to be good enough to make these. And yes, the kickoffs are just as bad as this ball goes maybe 20 or 30 yards, but they're always going to get to start in pretty good field positioning. You can see Deion Sanders coaching up this defense right now. And then I'm going to also user him on this play, but instead they go with the run and Sam Hartman got a few. We haven't even hit the end of the first quarter yet, so this could be a long day. I noticed it was a halfback screen, but we cannot stop Audric Estime. And I'm usering Rudy on this play, but I'm not going to be able to get over to him in time. At the end of the first quarter, they still have zero, but it seems like they're about to score if we can't get a defensive stop here on the goal line. And how did Great House just take that in? We had three players over there that could have made a tackle on him, but instead, all three of them just look clueless out there. And it is time for me to spin this wheel for the first time to see which item I'm going to be giving away, and it is JJ McCarthy. I was going to have this in the backdrop on one of the shelves, but now it's being given away. And I'll have all information on how to enter at the end of the video. It's all going to be in one spot though, so it will be pretty easy to enter. And who knows how many items I'm going to end up having to give away. I can't get this throw out. And our super powered offense just got stopped. This might be the only time I punt the ball if it doesn't go well. And what was that, Cam Newton? I cannot believe that this team was able to go undefeated in sim. It is kind of rough. Like almost our entire special teams is atrocious besides Deion Sanders at returner and we can't get a stop. So we just need to outscore our opponents, I guess. And this has to be an interception. Come on. This one play could have been the difference between not giving away an item, but instead it seems like we're giving up a touchdown and I'm not sure what I've gotten myself into. To be entirely fair, I do love the idea of giving back to you all, so I'm okay with doing this as much as possible. And the next item that's gonna go to one of you all is the Jamison Williams sign picture that has his 23.18 miles per hour speed written on it. And all around, this one is just really neat. All right, we got Deion Sanders back here at returner and I see the outside edges open. I know he is 99 speed. He is super quick and I think he has the opportunity to take this to the crib or not. He got us very close, but we almost don't want to score too quickly because that just gives us more opportunities to give touchdowns up on defense, but we're going to have to take it. It is more important that we win and don't lose than anything else, and we're just going to go for two-point conversion since we can't kick, but Cam Newton didn't make that either. It's almost like an onside kick wouldn't be the worst of things to attempt, but that was kind of dumb because now they're super close to the end zone, and it's not going to be too hard for them to score a touchdown. I guess we could hold them to a field goal on third and three if we get the stop, and we do, so we're only only going to be going down by five points and there is simply no way that they are pressing Jamison Williams. You know that he's the fastest guy out there but it's a bad throw and Cam Newton should not have missed that. That would have been a nice thing for us but we might as well attempt the deep post to Justin Jefferson and it's not going to be caught. So you can probably tell why we're struggling on offense. I'm just taking a bunch of deep shots and now that I've taken a check down Adrian Peterson we shouldn't get the first. We have no choice but to go for it though so that's what's happening here and I don't know why I tried to roll out with Cam Newton but we're still still going to get it. And we need to end this first half with a touchdown. That is what I'm shooting for, but we're going to fumble the ball away. Wonderful. This isn't going the way that I thought it would. And to our luck, the Irish are going to end the first half scoring another touchdown on us. We just have to keep them out of the end zone for one more play. And that is what we're going to do. It was very close, but Deion Sanders just tipped that thing away. But I don't like that we're down by eight points right now. I feel like we should be doing so much better. And trust me, I'm going to come out in this third quarter, just slinging it all over them. I was going for way too many deep shots and crazy plays on offense. I wanted to get some highlights out here, but now I'm just taking what they give us and that is not good. We have fumbled it again. I really don't want to talk about it. That is all on me, but on this third and six, we needed to get that interception and Key Lawrence couldn't get to the ball. He tripped up his teammate as well and that is another touchdown. I did not pick a good day to play terrible NCAA football and this wheel spin's going to go to James Cook. So now all my Georgia fans are also really going to want to get an item from this giveaway and this was another thing that was going to look great on the shelf behind me. I have to start playing better though because there is a chance I'm 
just going to have to give away everything if we don't win this game. And we have finally gone over the top to Jamison Williams. Look at that speed going to work. This was the exact turnaround that we needed. And I've been looking for it all day, but it didn't get open until that play. Also, Justin Jefferson's one-handed snag isn't going unnoticed because it helped us out drastically on the two-point conversion. And that's another third down run. I don't know what Notre Dame is doing, but it seems like they're crumbling. And what if Deion Sanders took this back to the house? That would be exactly what we need to get the turnaround, but he doesn't have the outer edge. So it's time to rely on another deep shot and the wheel route has cooked them. But Cam Newton has underthrown almost everything. CD Lamb breaks one tackle though. And this is how I was expecting our offense to play. I'm going to let Cam Newton attempt one more extra point and that went in. So it seems like all is well for us as we're starting to bounce back, but they've been driving it down the field on us pretty well. So we'll see what this fourth quarter brings. It is third and 10. So we need to get in on Sam Hartman. He has too much time to make this throw though. And it's off target. I could have sworn that was going to result in another touchdown. And I don't know why, but I still want to try to bomb them over the top of their defense, which I would have had on this play if I saw it a little sooner. I like going for the highlight plays, but sometimes you just got to take what the defense is giving you. And we find ourselves in a fourth and nine position. I accidentally chose punt. So we had to burn a timeout because there's no way we are not going for this. And we have the corner route all day. Odo Beckham Jr. is great at wide receiver for us. And I'm going to find Justin Jefferson on the right side of the field. I thought it was cover two and it was. So we have scored a touchdown. Now, theoretically, the smart move here is the extra point and it went right down the middle. So I must have gotten unlucky with that first attempt in this game and Cam Newton really hasn't been that bad for us. The issue is we still need to stop the Irish one more time and I don't think we're going to. Rudy just got burnt and how disrespectful of his former team to do something like that to him. We have made it back to the wheel and this time it is going to Anthony Richardson. So my Colts quarterback sign picture is going to one of you now, but you know what? I can live with it because I already have his sign jersey. The shipping cost of all these frames though is not fun. That's what I learned the hard way on the last video, but you all have blessed me with an opportunity to do videos like this. So I'm going to hook the boys up and let's go down the field and get a touchdown. So we don't lose this game. I see Adrian Peterson over there in the tight end number two slot. And I feel like whoever's on him isn't going to be quick enough to keep up. So I'm just going to have to go deep and that's a catch. He laid out for that ball. And to be honest, I thought Cam Newton missed him. But now that I've seen him make two extra points, I'm going to keep doing that. And I messed that one up myself. Our defense has certainly struggled, but we need them to clutch up on a third and seven and that's not going to happen. So it seems like the Irish are marching down the field on us again. And if anything, we need to make sure we avoid overtime. That would give them an opportunity to speed run racking up touchdowns. And how did we miss that sack there? I cannot believe it. Adisa Isaac just whiffed it on Sam Hartman and Notre Dame's offense isn't even that good, which is scary. If they can do something like this to us, imagine what someone like USC would do. And that should have been picked. But Deion Sanders bit a little bit too soon and then he couldn't get his hand up. So we're being blessed with the refs challenging it. And of course, his foot was easily in. I don't know why they even went to the monitor to review that. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the wheel. We are spinning it with this one landing on Cam Newton. For my sports cards collectors out there, you all should really like this one. And it seems like there were only 50 of these ever made. It has been a rough game defensively, but if we can't score with 50 seconds left, I'm going to have to give away every single item from this video. So that is very intimidating. Come on, OBJ, get that catch. With the way we're playing defense, we might end up doing that anyway while winning a championship, but I shouldn't have passed it in bounds because we had to burn one of our final timeouts and I need Cam Newton to make a great play here. This throw is going to be perfectly on the money. Odell Beckham Jr. comes away with it and he is going to spin inside the 15. All right, that was exactly what we needed. The only thing we can't do in this situation is take a tackle and bounce. So I'm going to run to the sidelines. And if it wasn't for those two fumbles, Cam Newton would have played so well, but he has to finish the job now. And we're going to do that with the slant route. That was an extremely stressful drive and he misses the extra point. So I just realized Notre Dame could win with a field goal. And remember, he can't kick it that deep. So it's not like they're going to be that far out. I mean, it went to about the 10 or 15, which is not the worst in the world. And we just have to prevent one deep play from happening, which is exactly what we are doing if we make the tackle. All right, boys, it was a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I think we're going to survive this first playoff game. Sam Hartman is not going to reach the end zone and I might have to give away five items already, but I'm glad we're moving on to the semifinals and our opponents, one of these two teams. So we really need Clemson to win this game because USC's offense is insane and this is what I was afraid of. We're about to give up a lot more touchdowns in this next one and these are the four teams remaining in the 12 team playoff. I hope our defense is ready to play against Caleb Williams because if not this could be a long day and we've gotten him to a third and eight early on where he just handed the ball off. I will never understand why the computer does that but Deion Sanders has the opportunity to start us off right. He has gotten the outside edge and he just needs to juke inside one time. This will get us all the way to 25 and we are opening it up the right way against the Trojans which we really did not do in our
our last one. Cam Newton's already completed one pass and he's going to go back to Jamison Williams. But we all figured I'd end up shredding this USC defense and we'll see how we continue to do on the other side of the ball. This kick is short. I might as well just start attempting two point conversions. This one got all the way to the bar and then just fell short. But we didn't get blessed with a kicker and I hope we don't have to kick any game winners. Caleb Williams has been kind of struggling so far and we're going to hold them again. So I would have never predicted that but I just noticed that RG3 is out there on the field and I don't know what happened to Cam Newton. Apparently he's experiencing back spasms for one quarter. So we get to switch it up and use someone else which makes me excited and this ball is going to bounce into the USC defender's arms. You have got to be joking. This is getting taken back for a freaking touchdown and I have never seen anything like this happen on a halfback screen before. We have gone over to the wheel where this one is going to land on Justin Jefferson and I hope one of you enjoys this more than I would have because it was going to look awesome in a shadow box behind me. After that last turnover we're probably better off just going out a wildcat on USC but I do want to attempt to take a deep shot with RG3 to see if we can hit CD Lamb over the top and that ball was so underthrown. That was terrible. I've seen enough. We're going to put Vince Young in the game and hopefully he does much better than what RG3 just did for us because that was definitely rough. I think I'm going to roll out to the left side here and look at Jerry Judy down deep on the crosser route who's going to get his first catch of the video and Saquon Barkley is in the game to finish this one off but I want to switch this up and make Adrian Peterson our starter as well. Maybe he'll be able to finish off the halfback toss for us and that is what he does so we're going to let him cook on the two-point conversion too and he doesn't. It's really just an offensive line issue but our defense has been incredible and Caleb Williams took a short throw there so he had to punt it back to us again where I am going to have to go for the deep shot but the Trojans defense got in and Solomon Bird who we also have on our roster was able to get the sack. They are pressing Jamison Williams which could not go well for them. There is no way that this pans out. We are going deep and their safety will not get over to it. Well at least in time to stop the catch and Vince Young's been doing a pretty good job for us. Obviously once Cam Newton's healthy again he will be in but we're going to take this and I'm going to go with the lateral to Saquon who spins that defender out and what a play. For a few extra yards this really wasn't worth the risk but it ended up turning out to be something really cool and I have OBJ on a fade route here where he's going to go over the top and catch it. To be honest nothing has gone the way that I thought it would so far and Vince Young is going to scramble in so we're going to get the two point conversion and Caleb Williams still hasn't picked up a first down that could remain true if we hold them here we have a lot of time there though and he just missed the throw. It doesn't make any sense that Sam Hartman could tear us apart but he can't do a thing and defense has been very prevalent at least for us USC isn't doing so much as I'm going so deep with Cam Newton to Justin Jefferson and that burned their defense over the top. This is how I expected everything to go against the Irish but because we're going to be up by so much USC is going to try to score touchdowns throughout the entire second half and we should probably run the ball a lot more with Adrian Peterson. There's no way that he should be getting stopped on the goal line here though and I don't understand what is going on with this USC offense. It's just been atrocious but they get their first first down and we cannot let them start to get any momentum on us. Third and 17 now Caleb Williams is going to need a deep play and that is not going to reach the marker so we forced him off the field again and we are going to go for deep shots the rest of this game because why not we're winning by so much and it's just going to be even more the Trojans should be playing so much better but they have bad play calls and I just realized that if we run up the score too much that could actually be an issue they couldn't get the sack on Cam Newton though and Jamison Williams has cooked number one again anyway the problem with going up by so much is that our defense does not have much depth so USC would start to cook us and I'd have to give away a lot of items we'll see how it plays out in the end I think we're gonna go deep here and Cam Newton actually missed this throw but we all know that I'm not gonna let him kick the field goal and why is Deion Sanders out there on the field we're gonna attempt to hit him if you were ever wondering how bad USC's defense is you're starting to see but even though we're up by 33 none of this game is over because we still have to get defensive stops I don't know what was said at halftime but the USC offense has come out playing a little bit better and since they're down by so much there's no way that they're ever settling for a field goal though they might have to on this drive Rudy was actually the one who made the clutch tackle here and the computer's logic is completely broken. It's kind of crazy how it's gone but the USC defense hasn't stopped us once and I didn't see it happening but there it is. Now they're starting to get a little momentum so we have to be careful about how we finish this. We can't give up any big plays to the Trojans and Caleb Williams had somebody but he's not going to take him and instead take the sack. This has definitely worked out for me and Notre Dame must have played their best possible game against us because this has been a much different story. If we can force one more stop I think it's going to be time for us to start running down the clock and on fourth and eight Caleb Williams is going to throw it on the run out of bounds but the refs are going to hit us with a late hit and even NCAA football wants me to give away more items to you all. Caleb Williams still has to finish off the drive though for that to happen and I don't know if he will because it's now a fourth and nine where they are going to go deep and come on. I guess you can't avoid the wheel for
forever, this one is going to land on Adrian Peterson. So the football that I wanted to keep so bad is going to one of you, but all I can do is smile because this is a really neat item and I'll gladly bless one of you with it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to run down all of the clock because there's still time left. Even after scoring a touchdown, USC has another drive where they're almost getting the first. And since it's fourth and inches, I'm gonna have to send everybody up the middle, which worked out. Now that we've gotten to here, I think we're gonna be able to get through the rest of the clock as Cam Newton's gonna run for a lot of yards. And this is just how he was in college as he's so hard to bring down. We are moving on to the championship and there's no way that the Gators actually make it. Their current team is not good enough to be in this position, but Graham Mertz did a pretty good job and with a few seconds left, they had a guy go into motion so they can't score two touchdowns in one play and Oklahoma is gonna take down the Gators. It is time for the national championship and hopefully Oklahoma's offense doesn't give us too many issues, but I could definitely see that happening and this should be a pretty good game. We have gotten the ball first and I should have gone up the middle to Jerry Judy. That would have been wide open, but instead we're gonna go to CeeDee Lamb who catches it with one hand and I can't get over how good this offense really is. Because of that, Oklahoma should know better than to press our receivers, but they still did and Odell Beckham Jr. is catching it. So we're gonna continue to fly down the field and that will be our first touchdown. Now we have given Oklahoma a lot of time to score, but I'm confident in our defense to come out and make the right tackle. Joey Porter Jr. just missed right there though. And on third and six, we're going with some press man coverage, which is not gonna pan out as Anderson takes it to the house. Who would have thought that we'd be back to the wheel already where it's going to land on OBJ? And I simply cannot keep anything signed by him. I had to give away his football in the last one. Now it's the mini helmet. And from what I just saw, we probably shouldn't score that quick considering they're gonna do the same to us. But if they're gonna give it to CD Lamb, we have to take it. I'm almost baffled at the fact that we were in such a close battle with Notre Dame because this team is amazing. Saquon Barkley has spun out of it and he is fighting for even more yards. So we're about to score our second touchdown already. And we have an opportunity to get Oklahoma off the field on third and 11, which we do. After taking a terrible sack though, it is third and 17 and I doubt we're gonna pick this up and that's a fumble. We had it open, but now they're gonna recover it inside our 25. And I saw T Higgins at midfield breaking free, but it was a second too late. So Oklahoma has been gifted a lifeline and we will see if they're able to take advantage of it or not. I wanna say that I trust our defense to get the job done because they did really well against USC. And in my mind, I've already forgotten about everything that happened versus Notre Dame. On third and 11, they have no time. So we are holding them to just a field goal and they can't possibly be pressing all of our wide receivers after seeing what has happened earlier on. Justin Jefferson is simply faster than all of their DBs and I wanna see Cam Newton go to work down on the goal line. There's simply no way that they stop him four times in a row, but the Oklahoma offense is trying to make it so I have to give away even more items to you all. And on first and goal with a little bit of a blitz that should be intercepted by Campbell, they went right to it. Dylan Gabriel got fooled and I don't know if Campbell has the speed to take this to the crib, but it seems like he does. That was exactly what we needed, and Dylan Gabriel's probably lost all confidence since then because we're getting another stop, and things are just so easy for this team. It seems like we have the championship secured, but I still could give up a lot of touchdowns, and you know what? Since Christmas time is approaching within like the next month, I think I'm gonna make a deal with you all. If we give up another seven, I'm gonna spin the wheel five more times, and that'll really put the pressure on me to keep getting defensive stops, but if we don't, it won't be the end of the world because I do love giving back to you all. And look at this play from OBJ. He just fought for yard after yard and they are not ready for the deep shot. Cam Newton can throw the ball so freaking far. And when he has Jamison Williams on that end of the field, it's always gonna be a touchdown. What's gonna matter the most though is how we do on defense and Rudy was not gonna make the tackle. So I'm thinking that we need to go back to man-to-man -to -man coverage and this time everything is fully clamped up. I'm kinda in disbelief that the Sooners are struggling this bad, but they've lost all hope is they're punting us the ball and they're only gonna have a couple more opportunities to get a touchdown. I mean, they're driving again on us, but they haven't been able to finish anything off. And on third and five, I am watching Drake Stoops, but he's still gonna get the first. It is time for a goal line stand as they've gotten it to the 10. And on second and 11, they're going with another run on us, which is surprising, but they must not wanna score a touchdown and Dylan Gabriel's gonna find his tight end. It is fourth and one where they are simply going to hand it off and we aren't gonna make the tackle. So that was God telling me to give away even more to you all. So you know what? Let's give this wheel five more spins, and the first one's going to be C.D. Lamb. His mini helmet is going to belong to a giveaway winner from this video, and you can see all the effort he put into this signature. I actually love how that looks, and this next spin is going to give us Blake Corm. So I only got two jerseys in this video, but both of them are going to go to one of you all. And there's a lot of things Michigan fans could win from this video's giveaway. Three more spins remaining. The next item I'm giving away to you all is Saquon Barkley. And this picture frame is literally massive. It doesn't fit in the frame, but it is super neat. 
eat. And this is also now a part of the giveaway with two more items that can still be added. The next thing is going to land on Travis Etienne. And if you remember what that was, it was this Clemson National Championship ticket signed by him. So there's just going to be a variety of everything in there. And the final item is Joey Porter Jr. This was the card that had a piece of his jersey in it. And this video has been great for Penn State fans. If my math is correct, of the 21 items Pristine Auction sent to me, I'm giving away 13 of them. And although it's a bit of a pain to ship everything out, I'm excited for the reactions of the people that win. And I figured out how I'm going to have you all in her. But remember, you get $10 off using registration code board on Pristine Auction if you don't win anything. And I'd love to keep doing stuff like this. Anyway, the giveaway is going to be over on Instagram. And all of the information on how to enter will be on my most recent post on my profile. So good luck to all of you. And shout out to Pristine Auction for providing us with another awesome video.